Hey y'all, I'm Jesse Peterson with Let's Make Art, and today we're gonna paint this postcard Ooh. for our Let's Make Art Matter um, postcard. <clears throat> our recipient today is McKenna, and she is so cool. She likes to spread happiness, and she has three parakeets, and she's been struggling some, with some stuff, so we just wanna send her some, some love in the form of the postcard. And I love this little sentiment, be the magic, because we can be the magic in someone else's life even when we're struggling. We can send good vibes to the people around us. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint this. you were telling me about her, she sounded like she liked to, she liked to be the magic as well. Like she's, she likes to spread joy. Yes, yeah. yes, she does. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And if you don't know what Let's Make Art Matter is, it's um, a little program that we do here at Let's Make Art and we include in our subscription boxes a postcard that has um, the address already on it and a stamp um, for someone who's been nominated. So, let's start. Yes. Okay, um, we're gonna use the supplies from the April box, which today we're gonna use Prussian blue and white to make this. And I already kind of sketched out a little rough circle that I used for my soda cup and um, I just wrote Be the Magic on there. And now I'm going to put some blue paint on here. So it's gonna be simple. And I have it a little bit watered down just for this first pass. And I mean, we're gonna to try to stay in the circle, but it's okay if we don't make it all the way. Watch your head. I'm using this oval mop brush, so it kind of keeps a lot of water in the brush, which is nice. And it's nice for this first layer that is not a lot of paint. It's just a little bit of paint. And then we'll, we'll make it darker as we go. Well, it's totally upside down. Should probably turn it right side up, right? <laughs> it's fine. I'm all focused on the painting part, forgetting that you need to see it. I mean, as long as it gets painted, you know? I just love this color blue. I mean, this Prussian blue just never gets old to me. It's so calming. It's such a calm color. Don't you think, Keenan? The blue? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And I like how being calm, I probably should put this on this so I don't get paint on our little back thing here. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Because I want to be able to paint on the edge there. So if you've got this on a surface that you're a little worried about getting dirty, then you can just put something under it. There we go. Now I'll see this color is calming and I think that um, it's easy to get riled up and stressed about things and that can be contagious, but being calm, that's contagious too. And I've noticed that my friends around me that are calm, the way that they talk, the way that they react to things has an effect on me. And my calm friends are being the magic right now, <laughs> which I really appreciate. And I have my moments of calm that I hope I'm, I'm extending to those who may need it. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little darker on the edges here and a little lighter in the middle for the most part. And then I'll do a darker pass around the circle again. Just a dark and the light back and forth just gives it sort of a layered look. Oh yeah. A little bit more water, there we go. Watch your head. Mm-hmm. I think also we become what we surround ourselves with. Mm -hmm. So if we want to freak ourselves out, you know, <laughs> find someone that's freaked out. Yeah, I really like the idea of like input, output, right? Like yeah. something that we can do is we can look at what kind of things that we're putting in our mind, you know, how much stuff are we taking in, news, whatnot. And then we can look at our output, right? Like. What positive things are we putting out there? How are we being a helper? How are we um, being a force for good? How are we going to spread the magic? Okay. I like that. This is good to go for that step. 
and we're going to let it dry. So we'll just let that dry for a second. So this is looking dry. So we, on, we are on to our next step, which is the lettering part. And since I already have my outline with the pencil, I'm just going to go over that outline. And that's what I like about what I've learned from Nicole and lettering is that you can just kind of do a pencil outline first and you can erase until you get it how you like it and then you can go over it with your brush or your pen or whatever you decide you want to do. And I am learning from Nicole and I am practicing and I am seeing my progress and I am okay with where I'm at. Um, and as you practice, just be gentle with yourself. Okay, I'm going to turn this because that helps me. And I just think what Thick on the down, right, Keenan? Yep. Thin on the up, thick on the down. Get this a little bit more wet. I say strong on the down, but that's Ooh, just me. I like that. Okay. I think it might want it a little bit darker, and you can always go back over it if you want. And I'm just using a number two brush. I know we're going to have this in the Princeton Select um, line. That, that size? Point. Yeah. Yeah. It might be a little delayed, but we'll do our best. Got a little fuzz on my something. Okay. And if you want to learn more lettering techniques, Nicole is such a great teacher. Will you pull that to the right and up a little bit? How's that? Um, the other right. Oh, Perfect. you're right. Got it. No, you're right, my left. Oh. Yeah. Sorry to be confusing. Uh, well, because before you told me, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what's his right? Well, and I went left, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Magic. Sometimes I don't even realize that I'm singing when I'm making something. That's embarrassing. Why is that embarrassing? I don't know. <laughs> That's great. I just, I'm happy. I know I'm happy when I'm creating something if I start singing. Yeah. I think if anything makes you happy enough to sing, you should probably keep doing that. Even if you don't sing well? Yeah, well... You should keep doing that thing. I don't know about singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, always sing. Everyone should always sing. Watch your head. Bring that back a little bit. There you go. But I just want to be close. Right where you're uh, most uncomfortable, that's where I need your head to be. <laughs> get really quiet when I'm lettering so I'm concentrating. Yep, those details. I'm feeling good about that. I think I might need to just go over this a little bit to clean it up. Every time I do lettering, I get excited at least one letter and just really clean it up way too much. <laughs> Ends up being the biggest letter in the whole project. And you're like, well, that one's super dark now. We got excited about it. But when people just look at it, they don't notice that. They're just like, oh, that's pretty. They made me something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Feeling good about that. I'm going to let Looks that dry great. for a second. And we'll be careful as we work in the white um, not to hit our lettering. I think we can just keep going without waiting for that to dry. 
I've never been really great at waiting for things to dry. Okay. And just going to do a little couple dots here and there. That's fun, right? Absolutely. That's kind of the magic part. I think I made these dots with a number eight brush. I'll grab that real fast. Okay, you can use a thicker brush for the bigger dots like this. Oh yeah, that's working good. And then we can go back and do the smaller dots with a smaller brush if you want. Oh, no, this brush is so good. You can do the little dots and the big ones. Nice. Multi really purpose. You could probably letter with this one too, honestly. I'm just doing a sprinkling of dots, wherever it feels right, you know? I like to do a little cluster of them. Ooh. It made me think of stars because of the blue background. Ooh. Well, I think space is magical, so it could exactly. be space. Exactly. Same. Spacey if you want it to feel spacey. Watch your head. I'm sorry. You're Got good. excited. Yeah, I want some bigger dots in here. Will you bring your head back a little bit? There mm -hmm. we go. Yeah, just a couple of clusters, and then you can kind of fill in some bigger, smaller ones wherever you like. I, I realized that the paint just being a little bit more wet helps it kind of drip the little dot on there a little easier, so. Oh, nice. How easy is it to throw that paint? What do you mean? Like with your brush, flick your bristles or... Oh yeah, you can, finger. you can, can do, you do that pretty too. well? I'm just curious, because that might be an interesting, get some random patterns. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you can do that too. That's cool. I just didn't know if it was similar to watercolor or not. Yeah, it depends on how wet it is. Like yeah. if I would have used it that way a minute ago with the thicker paint, then it might not have. That makes sense. And it may be a little more translucent when it's watered down, so you kind of mm. just have to play with the amount of water and how much you want it to be. Okay, and I want a little more sprinkle on this side, so I'm gonna focus in on that. back a little bit. Can't help but want to put it in the dark areas because I know it'll have a lot of contrast. Mm -hmm. So if you have some darker areas on yours that you want to hit, then that's fine. I think this one just needs a little bit more sort of organic, you know, spread, yeah. whatever, little. The little ones? The freckles? Yeah, they're like little magic freckles. A little fre freckling. I like it. All right. And you could keep going. I kind of try to stop myself early because I tend to overwork it because I get excited and just like the repetitive feeling of making it. I'm just like, oh, I like doing this. And then I'm like, oh man, I put a lot of dots on there. So. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to catch yourself. You paint it all white, paint it all blue again. Yeah. You have fun. That's what you really need to do, okay? Yeah. But I just tend to get lost in the dots, and I'm like, whoa, that was a lot of dots. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. Lost in the dots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm feeling good about that.
just a little little love we can send off to McKenna. And um, right now we're still trying to hold off on mailing them um, because of the virus. So um, if you want to take a picture of it, you can send it to hello at Let's Make Art, and they'll send all the pictures of it, and then later on we can send them. Um, and if you want to make more than one, you can make one of these for yourself and hang it up and be a reminder to yourself to be the magic. Um, I love this gold washi tape on there. Like, you can put it in your journal like I had mine or hang it on the wall somewhere where you can see it. Um, and, and then send it later if you like. So it can be like double purpose. Um, and if you want to nominate someone for our Let's Make Art Matter, you can totally do that by going to our website and you can um, go to the main page, right, Keenan? Yep. And scroll down and there's a little like nominate Let's Make Art Matter button there. And you can nominate anybody. You can nominate someone who's having a hard time, maybe a, a neighbor you just love, um, someone you just want to celebrate. Um, any, any person that you want to nominate, um, you can nominate them there. And... Um, just want to say thanks for being here with us and painting with us and um i hope you enjoyed doing this and um, remember that being calm is contagious and sometimes painting like this is just great for everybody um we'll see you next time bye